Thanks. Now to the historic change in Cuba in the communist island hosted the NBA and WNBA for the first time. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is here now with more on the trip. Elliot. Well, Erica, the NBA is the first professional league from the United States to visit Cuba since President Barack Obama announced the thawing of relations last December. The NBA conducts these workshops around the world but had never held one on the communist island. In a country where baseball is king, the NBA is hoping to score points with promising Cuban basketball players. They're sharpening their skills with former greats like retired all-star Steve Nash. For me, personally, it's my second time to Cuba, and it's a place that I think is incredibly special and, uh, and unique, and it's an opportunity for me to learn something of our, our neighbors so close, but with such a different history. That's Orlando Magic interim coach James Borrego on the court. He was joined by retired Hall of Famer Dikembe Mutombo, both working with some of the best women basketball players on the island. So I'm very happy to be in Cuba, especially in Havana, and uh, trying to teach the young women uh, the game of basketball. They are very good, and uh, they are listening. The NBA and WNBA were welcomed by Cuban athletes and sports officials at an opening ceremony for a four-day basketball camp as Cuban athletes took cell phone photos of the stars on stage. One team that's not in Cuba is the Miami Heat, which has a large Cuban-American following, often wearing El Heat jerseys. Team officials objected to the Cuba trip and said they would not participate. For those who are in Cuba, it's a chance to break new ground, scoping out new talent and refurbishing a basketball court for future stars on the island. You know, obviously it's, you know, a country that's had its hardships over the years, so they, they're, you know, in need of certain things, uh, just as we are, and at the same time, you know, they're, they're not in need of education or, or health care or some of the other things. So there's a balance to be struck that I think all nations try to find, and I think Cuba's uh, entering an interesting time in its history. The Cuban players taking part in the four-day workshop are hoping to be picked for a basketball without borders training camp to be held in the nearby Dominican Republic. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Elliot.